What is up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we are answering the question of how to change directories in Python. In previous videos on this channel, I've talked about how you can use, or what Linux commands um, you can use to change directories uh, on the terminal. Um, but first, the setup for this is we need to import OS, which is a built-in Python module, so you don't need to pip install anything, you're just good to go, just call import OS. And then right here, we're using a function within OS called getCWD, which basically returns the current working directory. So if I run this system, what, or if I run this, or run this application right now, what ends up happening is it just prints out the current working, or the full path for our current working directory, which you can see OS system right there is the current folder that I'm in. So now let's talk about the commands that you can use to change directories in Python. All right, so the first command that you can use, or first um, way that you can change, a, or change to a specific directory in your Python application, is to say os dot um, change dir. Now this is basically the, the going to execute uh, this. I'm going to say this is equal to cd command in terminal, and essentially all I have to do here is pass in the path that I want to go to. So for instance, if I'm if this is my current path, and say I just want to go to um, users Zach developer, what I could do is just say, um, give it the path of slash users slash Zach slash developer. Yep, that's spelled correctly. Gotta always check that because I suck at spelling. If I run this, and I just say this is changed her, oops, changed her one so i run this this should return nothing so you don't need to pass if you try to pass into print it's going to return a none um and then what you're going to do here is now call the os.get current wor uh, working directory function again and then this should give us a different result so if i run this you'll see that there is the start now my current working directory at the end of this application is now in the developer um, folder now what happens if i want to say let's just try one more thing like in, in previous videos you can do cd space dot dot that'll take you up a directory so if i was in developer, it would take me up to Zach. So if I run this, let's try something like, um, and then I'm gonna say path right here. This will just make more sense. Now, if I try to do this, so if I run this, this should be the equivalent to, oops, there we go. So first we're getting our current working directory, which will always be where the where we're running the application for in the terminal. And right now that is this, this base um, OS systems folder. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change directory to developer. We're gonna print that out, which should, get, should give us the result that we got last time. And now we're gonna run change dir dot dot, and then that should actually give us user slash Zach. So if we run this, I'm gonna say this is number two. We'll just reset the terminal, give us more space, and we run it again, and there you go. So as you can see, we've got our current, our start, and then what we changed it to by giving the exact path we wanted, and then by doing something like um, the dot dot slash to give go back up a directory. So it's, we went from developer up to Zach. So there you have it. That is the first method that you can use essentially to change directories in Python. Um, this next method I want to talk about is, is more of a caveat if you're trying to use os.system. So let's talk about it right now. All right. So this next method, like I mentioned, is using os.system. So os.system, you need to be careful with this because this might be the hang up if you're not seeing it change directories the way that you want. So for example, I can call os.system. Now what this will do is basically give me the ability to um, run whatever command I want. Now a lot of times this os.system is used to run like your scripts in from an, uh, from an application or a script that, or another script that you have. And the reason being is when you run it, for those that aren't familiar, when you, so when I, when I, you know, click up right down here and I run this, uh, my Python application or script, whatever you want to call it, essentially what happens is, is this runs in its own process. Now what that means, it's this basically own little application that's running. And when I call os.system and I say I run another one, what that's going to do is behind the scenes of everything of my current application, it's going to basically take off, create another uh, shell environment or shell script area and then run the commands within that and do what it's saying. And now to show you what I'm talking about, let's just do something like um, CD. We're just going to run the CD command and I'm going to say CD into, let's say we're going to go back. So we let's giving this path, I can go back into this folder and just say CD into the, into this, right? So we're just going to go back here and come back to where we started, right? Because what, what happens is we start here, we change directory developer, we go up a directory and now ideally, right, what this system should do or this command should do is cd back into um, this folder right here, right? So if I say this is using uh, os.system and I get the current working directory and rerun this, let's see what happens. It looks like it just stayed in this current, the current directory of Zach from, from this point that we did, right? 
Well, again, like I mentioned, what's happening here is this is running, basically opening up another terminal or shell, if you would say, and then it's running that command in it and then executes. So nothing's happening, right? It's not showing anything to the user. So in this command, it's, it's in its own, it's creating a whole separate thing, whole other process and basically doing what, it, what you call here and then dying because nothing else is to be ran. That's why a lot of times these are used with other scripts because you can have your application, you can start another script, let it do its thing and work and work and work until it dies. And then this other application, their main one can keep going or it can hold and wait for that one to finish or whatever or whatever you want. Now, to show you that's what that's doing, um, if I go in my terminal and I hit ls, you'll see that there's only one file here. Now, if I go here and I do this command now, for some this may be a little bit more, uh, more advanced stringing of commands in a terminal, um, others maybe not. Essentially what I'm happening, or what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna run CD, go to this path, and then the ampersand ampersand is basically gonna say, then do the next command. So it's basically say, I want you to run this one, and then do this. So, and if this fails, then this, you know, everything after the end won't work. So then I'm gonna say, touch, which is a command in um, the terminal, which will create a blank file. And I'm gonna say, um, hello.txt. So basically what should happen here is at the end of this whole thing running, I should see this exact same output. But then if I hit ls again, there should be not only this, how do I change directory in python.py file, but there should also be a hello.txt file. So let's go ahead and test that out. If I run this, it executes ls. Boom, just like that, there is the hello.txt. So for those of you that are using os.system to change directory and you're not seeing it change, um, like for some reason it's not working in your current process or application, it might be due to the fact that when you call this, you're then creating a whole other separate process and running everything in there. And all the stuff that you're trying to do, it's just, it's not in that other process. And so it's not being executed like that. So the main way that you want to use, um, basically the main way that you want to change directories in Python is by using this change dir. Now there are time and places that this is more appropriate um, or that this would be appropriate to use. And that's if say you don't really care or you're doing something like um, this, you don't really, you don't need to, you don't want to essentially do that in, in uh, say the Python commands uh, because you just, you, you know, you forgot what they were and you just remember the terminal commands really easy. This is really something, this is really, right here is really easy to do. So I hope that provided a value. I hope that's helped you solve a problem that you may be facing. Um, and then, yeah, use this to change your directory in Python. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming.